Oh boy! Oh, whoa, okay. oh god! Okay. Hey, you were right. I don't like the next episode of As I Play Dying. Really? This is gonna ruin the whole episode this for is, you? It's it's scary. Just just one skeleton with a jetpack? I have a surprisingly low tolerance for a person who's been playing Doom. Okay. Skeleton jetpacks. What do they think of next? That's what, I mean, I guess I can't hold it against you, but I'm just surprised oh, hey. is all. <laughs> Can you make that leap? Do you really want me to try? I don't want with you to try. my track record no. on leaping? No, I don't. Missile fight. I won! You did win. <laughs> I think that's where you gotta go, though. You just gotta figure out how to get there. Oh, there you go. Is that a jump? It is, oh, yeah. Oh, God. I'm not comfortable with that at well, all. Well, that's all you got. That's what you gotta do. Ha! Whew. Is that so hard? Ha! Well, not so far. You're fine. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, you got it. Uh, I would go to the closer one. Ah! What are you? You overcorrected. <laughs> I you, did. You overcorrected. It was, uh, it was a bad decision on hey, my part. Hey, caco demons. Caca demons? What are you talking about? Those things. They're called ca caco demons. Are they? Yeah. <clears throat> Loser. They're shooting psychic bolts at you. They are. I find that unacceptable. No. Oh. oh, what are you doing? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh. <laughs> Take that, caca demon. As someone who is afraid to jump from platform to platform, you had no problem jumping to no platform. Yeah, there was- there's no bloody victory involved with just jumping on platforms. Sure there is. There's also a platform there, down there to your right. Ugh. God, this makes me nervous. What? Ah! This one's gonna make you real nervous. Ah! Yeah, okay. You made it. Whew. Oh, oh my heart! Not that bad. Oh, it was so bad. But you gotta activate that thing to your right. What thing? The oh, thing. I do. Thank you. No, the, Got it. that's not it. But that so, thing? yeah, that. That's gas. Oh, weird. Your waypoint was on that. Huh. I guess it just moved. Uh, I think it was the the little chip right. that I picked up. I like those things. They're probably my favorite so <laughs> far. <laughs> These biggins. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, that was just a twitch of the finger. You say waste of a good rocket. I know. Yeah, I meant to. Uh, I meant to go feed him to himself, but self vor. Yeah, <laughs> auto vor. Oh yeah. Um, what is that? There's actually a word for that because there are some animal species that engage in it. Weird. There's a Wikipedia article on it, and it has a picture of a snake literally doing the Ouroboros thing. Huh. Yum. Yeah. Delicious. There's good eating on me. Dogs do that too. Excuse or they what? Or, or they would if they could catch their tail. That's. <laughs> thank God they can't. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, there'd be a lot of kids growing up wrong. Yeah. They're like, you know, you come home and your your child is just sitting stunned in the middle of the room, and like, what happened, honey? The dog ate himself. If the, if dogs could eat themselves, they wouldn't be our. They, we wouldn't have bred them to be pets. <laughs> we'd have tried, but we'd have given up faster. Yeah. I went this. to get breakfast this morning um, at the local deli, mm -hmm. and I sat outside because it was nice out. And there was a there was a Pekingese there mm -hmm. just outside, tied to a chair. Sure. Um, while the the owner was inside ordering, uh, and it was adorable. It's an adorable little dog. Yeah. But um, when it came time to go, once the owner came back and you know they ate their food outside with the dog and everything, mm -hmm. but once it was time to go, they got up and went to walk, and the Pekingese would not move. It was very comfortable being where it was. I am not ready. Yeah. I'm finishing my coffee. So it like sat down and it would like, the guy was like trying to coax it into leaving. Come and on. Finally, he Come just on. picked up the dog. <laughs> <laughs> went. The ultimate insult. Yeah. Which I'm like, I obviously he's the owner. So I assume he must know that that's a speaking to sim signal for I'm not walking anymore. <laughs> I wonder what's going through that dog's mind. Uh, in that situation, like, does yeah. it know? Well, I'm just gonna get picked up, but fine. He's gonna do the work here. Yeah, that's probably what or, I want, right? What? Yeah, I don't know. I um, I don't know. I was watching it the whole time I was eating because I was out there and I like dogs, and mm -hmm. uh, I was just like, I wonder what dogs think when they're just like tied to a chair and their owner goes inside. Do they have these moments where like, this is it? This yeah. isn't my owner's that, leaving me. That was the last. He's yeah. never coming back. I don't know. The dog seemed pretty chill, so yeah. it must not. I guess it probably depends on the dog, too. Like, I've heard that Shibas hate being tied down like that. Uh-huh. Um, because they like having... <laughs> Literally and metaphorically. Yeah. They like having freedom of movement. <laughs> so I've heard for, like, people that want to stake down their Shibas, they give them a gigantic leash. Oh, yeah. That makes it seem like, oh, I have total freedom, but I can't actually run away. Gotcha. 
but it's not like two feet of rope. Uh-huh. You gotta give them enough rope to hang themselves. Exactly. Who's doing that? How dare you? I don't know, man. Yeah, mega pistol. <laughs> I, through most of Halo, I primarily used the pistol. That's because that actually was a mega pistol. Yeah. That thing was nuts. That's why I hated Halo 2 so much. Because I took the pistol away, yeah. Yeah. What's the point? I'd rather go into battle with a pistol than a tank. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that was, was chaos. Good. Yeah, that pistol was fucking incredible. Mm -hmm. I would take was, down banshees with that it motherfucker. It was accurate as shit. <laughs> it was basically like a mini sniper rifle. Yeah, exactly. Those are my favorite moments where you, you have a oh, you have something coming towards you like a, like a banshee. Yeah, and uh, you're just standing there staring it down with a pistol in hand. And you just shoot the pilot out. Exactly. Well, you shoot the pilot out, or like you just take enough shots at it that the thing. It just dies. I yeah. like it as it's right about to get to you. It bursts into flames. Yep. Crashes to the ground. You're not ready! I wish someone would make another Halo 1. Not remake Halo 1, but, you know, make a game that's... As good as Halo 1. Yeah. Yeah, totally. That game was awesome. Eat yourself. I had high hopes for Destiny, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Things did not quite pan out the way I hoped they would. The parts, of that, the parts of those games that I liked, by the way, were good. I just felt like the game ended up being much more shallow than I wanted it uh -huh. to be. So. Crap. You, Crap. You, use your fucking hologram thing. Okay. I've done it. You gotta get out of the way of the I hologram. I realized that. <laughs> yeah. You can do two, also. You can put another one down. There he goes. Yep. Okay. Nope, that's not the one. Probably bought yourself some time there. Not much. You killed but that some. one, yeah. Ah, give me your horn! You did it. I did, I did, did it. I'm not familiar with Doom, but those seem like I have seen them before. They must be, like, iconic enemies from the series. Uh-huh. I believe they're called Hellraisers. Okay. Yeah, fuck you. Is it because they raised hell? Oh my god, he just fell apart. Yeah, he did. Sucker. Is it because oh. they raised hell? Uh, well, do they? I mean, they're just kind of here. This is hell. They're not right. raising anything. It's true. I don't think they've quite earned that name. All right. To be frank. Mars and hell are similar geographically. Or they ge are. Ge uh, Topographically? No. I Geologically? Geologically. Yeah. There's the word. Geometrically? God, the English language. <laughs> Go Philos fuck yourself. Philosophically? The whole English language. Heterochromatically? Yes. No, it's not <laughs> heterochromatically. <laughs> Monochromatically. No, not that. Oh, hey. This is you! I thought that was a pit. It's it is? Yeah, I remember it when you started the I game, you were in the... On the altar. You are in the in the coffin altar thing. Yeah. Don't touch it. You just end up like me. What is that thing? It's got weird hands. That's Sam Hayden. Oh, it is? Is he a robot? Yeah. A cyborg or a robot? I think he's a robot. It's an important distinction. It is. I'm, I think he's a robot. Okay. Portal activated. Oh, boy. So you're getting your ass back to Mars? I guess so. Hey, you oh, did was it. that what I was trying to do? Just get out of hell? Hell, yeah. Okay. <laughs> As if that wouldn't be everyone's number one goal. Step one, leave hell. Leave hell. What happened to the Argent facility, do you think? Step two, repeat, if necessary. I'd say it was destroyed. You think so? That's just my guess. Okay. You know, I just that's I just kind of a gut feeling. So now you have to find a way to shut down the hell portal that Olivia opened up. Okay. Oh, I see. And the demons will take their claim on Mars. Thanks for the summary, Doom. You're always looking out for me. You're welcome. <laughs> That's what you sound like? Yep. <laughs> Maybe uh. people make fun of me. Oh, Doom, it's okay. No, it's not. You're still a scary now concept. No, you're patronizing me. No, Pat no, Doom, I would Why never do that. patronizing? <laughs> I, I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do either of those things. Patronize or patronize you. Well, you are you. kind of patronizing, Doom. That's a good point, yeah. yeah. Great. Now you made me look like a liar in front of Doom. <laughs> I think that Doom will get over I've it. I've told you we need to present a united front if uh, we're going to be good role models for sorry. Doom. Hell on Mars. The good thing is I feel like you could safely, like, just destroy Mars. If yeah, you need that's to. true. Whoa. Like, if everything goes south, just blow the shit out of Mars. Yeah. Oh, We don't okay. have one giant cartoonish rocket just aimed at Mars from Earth the entire time. Okay. Uh, you got a... Yeah. Okay. You've been- you're the only flesh and blood to walk between dimensions. Yeah. You're damn right. I'm actually 
kind of excited to be back in the space station stuff. It's fun. I act, I do think it's a little cooler than the hell stuff. Yeah. But that's just my interest. Yeah. I like that the hell stuff exists. Yeah, yeah, I don't have any. Ooh, hello. Also, the big scary demons are here now. Yes, I forgot about that. The caca demons? Kako. C-A-C-O. Demons. Are you sure that's what it was? Yep. Well, I'm still gonna say caca demons. Okay. Caca demons. Cook caco demons. <laughs> Cuck demons? No, that's something else entirely. Uh. That's the. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do to them. <laughs> you're gonna cuck some demons? Yeah, you're damn right. Do you really want to do that? I don't know. <laughs> it's 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 a matter of duty. I see. Um, I need another green light. Over there. You're looking at one. Can I make that? Yeah. I can make that. Yeah. Thanks for believing in me. Of course, that's my job. Ah! You didn't even need to climb up. You're great. I, I clearly just have no concept of what, what my actual jumping ability is. No, that's clear. Can I? That looks melted. It does. Oh, no. What, what could possibly... Have you tried looking down from there? Oh. Just jump down. <laughs> and then in there, yeah. Tonk. That wasn't so bad. No, that was uh, markedly less awful than I thought it would be. Checkpoint reached. Hey, they brought candles in. I was gonna say, somebody's been decorating at least. I spruce the place up a Is bit. That the first thing these demons do is they just light candles like they're <laughs> teenagers getting stoned in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want mom to find out we're raising demons in the laboratory. <laughs> Shit, put it out. <laughs> I've got mom on camera too, coming down the hallway. Uh, uh, what's going on in here? <laughs> just, just raising demons. God damn it! <laughs> Literally. <laughs> well, I was, was an honest child. I went the wrong way with that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Timothy. I can always count on you. <laughs> the rest of you. <laughs> Timothy's a narc. Yeah, all the kids hate Timothy. Yeah, they were they were going to sacrifice him if Mom hadn't shown up. <laughs> he was the one. That's why he was so honest. He was chained to an altar. Yeah, Mom, Mom, I think they're doing demon stuff again. Mom, you you unchain your brother right now, this instant. But you, Mom, you un, right now, I am not asking again. Unchain your brother. You take off those robes. But we just wanted to summon a caco demon. I, we just wanted to summon a caco demon. Like I haven't told you a thousand times before, no sacrificing family members. <laughs> Not in my house. Not even Timothy? Not even Timothy. <laughs> but I heard you and dad say that you didn't like Sh him. And shut that up. He was an <laughs> shut your goddamn mouth. That he was an accident. <laughs> oh, God. I'm starting to think you were all accidents. <laughs> This is why I'm never gonna have kids. <laughs> Too complicated. <laughs> Cause I don't know how I'd react if I walked into them summoning demons. It'd be like, what are you guys up to? <laughs> okay. Why would you just go back and play violent video games? <laughs> <laughs> We're summoning a demon, Dad. <sighs> oh, which one? <laughs> <laughs> better not be a caco demon. It better be one of those fucking skeletons with a jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> no, no son of mine's gotta go raising caca demons. <laughs> This is a jetpack skeleton household. Have some self-respect. <laughs> <laughs> Damn kids these days. <laughs> Communists. Uh, speaking the of dad, we're demons. all servants of the same infernal lord. <laughs> I'll have none of that. You pull, you summon yourself some bootstraps and pull yourself up by them. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Wow, there's so many things to kill here. Yeah, there really are. The kids have been busy. Yeah. Oh. Bleh. Health, please. Thank you. You did it. Who else is here? Oh, it's one of you. Fight and win. I will do that. Okay. See? Um. <laughs> nice. I just had a Ooh. sudden onset headache. That'll um, happen. Yeah, but the, I am a hypochondriac, so I'm like, oh god, is this it? Am I dying? <laughs> but it's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine now. <laughs> I just thought I was dying for about two seconds, so I oh, I'm Well, I'm glad you're better. It's good to have you back. <laughs> Recorded my existential dread. <laughs> <laughs> Stress log, day three. Yeah. Day three. Day whatever number of days I've lived. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't know. 
Should I, if I started keeping a stress log, I think it would just become an additional source of stress. Yeah, of course. It's just another thing to do. Exactly. Yeah, doing things is what fucks me up. Yeah, exactly. And having <laughs> to keep doing them. It's <laughs> the constant doing! Oh, whoa. That could have gone worse. Yeah. Where do you think these hell beasts got the technology? Amazon? Is, I don't think that's the case. That's my first and second guess. Okay. I ordered something that I needed for a work trip from them. Uh, oh, really? For did it arrive enshrined in human entrails? It didn't arrive. At uh, all? <laughs> which is the point of the story. Um, I ordered it for next day shipping, uh -huh. which was yesterday that that was supposed to come. Okay. And it's something I need for the trip. It was plug adapters because I'm, I'm going out of the country mm -hmm. um, this week. And, or, I mean, by the time this airs, I'm currently out of the country. Right. Um, time traveler. Yeah. But whoa, whoa! There's so many things there. Oh, good health. At yeah. least one of them was full of vitality. <laughs> um, and this package, I got a delivery notification, mm -hmm. <laughs> and within ten minutes, I went outside to go get it. Obviously, the notification being it's being delivered. No, the notification being it was delivered and oh. left at your front door. Okay. And I was home at mm -hmm. the time, so I just walked out and I went to get it, and it wasn't there. And found nothing. But it was not like hours, so I think the chances of it being stolen are real low. Mm -hmm. Um, like real low. Yeah. So I don't know what the fuck happened. So I go to contact Amazon, mm -hmm. and I'm like, "Hey, what's going on?" Um. Deal with it yourself. We're too busy destabilizing the economy. That's not... No. Oh, I'm sorry, this is your story. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, they... So, yeah, I, the, I got distracted there. Sorry. Um, I'm having this conversation. I'm like, hey, my package never showed up. They're like, well, it wasn't sold by Amazon. It was sold by a third party on Amazon. So the only thing we can do is offer a refund for it. Mm-hmm. I'm, they're like, will that work? I'm like, well, no, because yeah. I, I need this package for work. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I ordered it from you. Like, yeah. typically, your next day is very reliable, so I just needed to get this stuff quickly. Uh -huh. uh, is this something that you couldn't have bought in the store? Yeah, not really. Okay. Um, just, just wondering. Yeah. I'm not trying to punch a hole in the story. No, that's fine. That's what I ended up going to do today, was finding a store where I could buy them. Oh, okay. But I was just trying to get it done. Oh, God, what the fuck? Oh, it's like a race. Yeah. Jump to the other side. Um, Jump to the rhythm? Exactly. Jump. Jump to the rhythm. Anyway, uh, they they just kept pushing this whole, like, no, you just have to get a refund. I'm like, well, that doesn't really help me. I just went back and forth with them about it. Uh-huh. And at the end, they're like, well, the only thing we can do is a refund, so we'll go ahead and get that processed. Is there anything else we can else... Anything else we can help you with? <laughs> you can help and me I'm with anything, actually. And I'm like, uh, yes, you can help me find this package. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, well, have a nice day. Press end chat when you want to. I'm like, real fuck yourself. Seriously? <laughs> like, that's the last thing I said. And then the support person was like, well, we're done dealing with you. I'm like, no, you didn't help me at all. You gave me a refund on a, an item I need. I don't yeah. need that money. I need this item. Yeah. So you didn't that's help me. That's why I exchanged it for goods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't help me at all. Yeah. It's just crazy. I don't I, know. I get that you can't, but don't pretend like you did. I don't understand how you can, like, order a package. Mm -hmm. You get a shipment notice saying it's delivered to your address and where it was left, and then the item's not there, and no one knows what happened to it. Mm -hmm. How does that happen? Well, maybe it was stolen. It was but ten that seems, minutes. That, yeah, you're right. That is, seems very unlikely. And. Also, if it was stolen, I'd assume they'd open it, see that it's plug adapters, and then return it. <laughs> because you're not going to be able to sell now, the those. The way I imagine that is that the, the guy, like, you know, he goes out behind the dumpster or something, opens the package up, sees that it's plug adapters, just looks at it for a second, and then he pulls out the weirdest looking dick you've ever seen, and he just has this, like, comforted smile on his face. Like, finally. Okay. It goes exactly with the plug adapters that you ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a different. I found love. That's a different way. I thought that story. Then I didn't think that story was going to go that way. Is my point. Ah! <laughs> oh well, that is a good hard hat. Whoa! <laughs> Who built that thing? I see that. The, that's union stuff right there. The UAC. The UAC. That's how that door's supposed to work. Funnily enough. Really? Uh oh. Oh no. That's. It's actually kind of cute. You can it see is. it, right? It's adorable. Yeah. yeah. Punch its stupid and now face it's in. Did you just remove a tooth from its mouth and I then... I think I removed its tongue. 
I thought you removed a tooth and then jabbed it into its neck, but... That's also possible. I'm not 100% sure. I right. see what we've got here. We've got what? ourselves a little charge and minotaur situation. Yeah. Bonk. Or a, uh... You see me just headshot that guy with a rocket? Uh, I did, yeah. I like that their mouths glow, though. Their mouths glow? Yeah, their eyes and mouth glow, so when it's charging at you, you can see their face even in the darkness. Oh, that's convenient. Even in the darkness, you say? Yeah. As if I'll frequently encounter them in the- Oh, oh yeah, you're you right. rip their jawbone off and then slice their neck with it. <laughs> that's a hell of a throat cut. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, you- I saw you think that you were gonna be able to get that. Yeah, I did in teeth. I had some real high hopes about it. These things seem to have wildly inconsistent- Oh! 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 Okay. God, Health. I'm just beating people to death with themselves all yeah, over the was, place. Yeah, that was a spine whip, right? <laughs> it's super effective. Against things that used to have spines. You know what else used to have spine? <laughs> that, hmm, oh, that's, that hurts a little bit, actually. <laughs> As I play dying, yeah, they used to have spine, but not anymore. I assume you meant the next episode. I do mean the next episode of uh, As I Play Dying. Woo! Next time with more spine. Yeah. It's gonna be vertigrate.